Today we're going to talk about the how to use the functionality of your new Infinity IT8500 remote. Make sure the chair is plugged in and the remote is plugged in and how you will know that is if it's actually blinking right here in the middle of the remote. You want to go ahead and hit that power button. Once you hit the power button there will be the four automated programs Recover, Refresh, Extend and Relax are going to be flashing. The extend program is probably the one you sat in when you purchased the chair. By putting yourself in this chair, you're going to hit that button. You're going to see the 45 minutes flashing. You can hit the extend again to bring it to 30, to 20, or even a 10 minute interval. We recommend using 10 minutes at first until your body does get adjusted to it. You see that the chair did recline back when hitting that and put you in the zero gravity position, which is the most comfortable position for the body to be in while getting a massage. If you ever want to change to any other of the automated programs, you can just hit them. You can go into the relax program, which is a little more or less intense. You can go to the refresh or even the recover, which is definitely recommended after a nice workout. Below here, you have all of your manual programs. These are the programs you're going to use when you want to concentrate on a certain area of your body. By doing so, you're going to hit the function button and you're going to see that the kneading massage is lit up. You can have this chair do kneading, tapping, a dual, which dual is where it's going to be a combination of kneading and tapping, knocking, shiatsu, and even sync. Sync is where you actually can hook up music to this chair and have the rolls go to the beat of the music. I'm going to go back to the kneading massage. Kneading is one of the most popular so that you can actually get deep tissue massage from your spine to as wide as your shoulder blades. To concentrate on a specific area, you're going to want to hit the zone button. The zone button right now is running the whole length of the track, which you're going to be able to see these little red nodes that can be going up and down the body to let you know that the rollers are running the track. When you hit the zone button once, you're going to see the zone over here move to the middle. That's letting you know that you are now in the partial massage. The rollers in a partial massage are going to stay wherever you hit that button and stay within a 6 to 8 inch region. If you hit the zone button again, you're going to see it go all the way over to the right. That's going to stop the rollers dead on to where they are. This is where you're able to concentrate on a specific area. Right now they're at their lower back. If you did want to bring them up to your neck, you would use the roller adjust button and you would hold it down. And right now, as you see, the rollers are moving up and you can see in the chair that they are moving up your back to your neck. This is how you can concentrate on a specific area. Now moving down to the other manual programs you have here, once you get where the rollers where you'd like them to be, you can change different airbag adjustments. You can have just the legs and feet on if you want. You can have just the upper body and legs and feet and you can shut off the legs and feet by hitting the button. You can also change the air intensity and you're going to see that here in the remote. By hitting the air intensity button it is going to go up on the indicator and you can bring it all the way down for more of a light intensity. Coming over here to the speed, you're also going to see this up on the LED screen. You can change the speed of the rollers. By hitting the button, you're going to be able to see that the intensity of the speed is going to increase or decrease. Then you have your width. The width button is only to be used in tapping, knocking, and shiatsu. As you can see, when you went to those different manual programs, the width button did light up for you to use it. You can hit the width button to change the width of the, the rollers so you can have it, either have it close to your spine or as wide as your shoulder blades. Over here to the foot rollers button. You can use this foot roller button to any time you want. If you are in an automated or manual program you can hit this button to turn the rollers on or off or to change the different speeds. There are three different speeds for the foot rollers in a manual setting. On the right hand corner here you have the adjustments for the leg rest and the back rest. They're both independently controlled. If you'd like to bring the foot rest down, you can bring that down. If you'd like to bring it up, you can bring it up as well. Now as the back rest, you can recline further back if you want to lay in a more of a bed position. 
Or if you want to sit up straight and you want to watch TV, you can bring it in that position as well. On the left side here, you have your seat swivel. This is going to be what we call a shiatsu seat swivel, where the seat is actually swaying side to side, and you can see that. You can increase the speed to get a little better spinal alignment by hitting that button. And you can see how the intensity changes here on the indicator. Below you have the heat. By hitting the heat button, you are going to see the red heat below the back heat up. That's letting you know that the heat is on. Of course, you do not need this on at all times. You can shut this on or off. The last and final thing we're talking about is the music. When you have a music plugged into the back of the chair, this is where you're going to control it. Of course, you have your play, stop, next track, track before, and then your volume up and down. 